the Simon Sanchez High School students are done waiting. We've been given false promises these past years um, for a new campus. It makes me a little angry that we are pushed aside. Seniors Cherry Bartolome and Gianna Pico are just a couple of the students that voiced their frustrations with the long-time ongoing issue. It's been really hard because I feel like we've been, we, we're kind of just like homeless right now. Um, we're just being like tossed around and it's really sad and like nothing is being done um, to rebuild our school. I do feel like we're the second priority kind of because we have been waiting really long so it's kind of like okay are we are we just something to push aside? Are we not as important as we think we are? Um, we are the students, we are the kids of the future, so why aren't we kind of the priority? They, along with other school clubs, came together and are organizing a rally to bring to light to Guam's leaders the one thing they want immediately. Our purpose is to give back to our school and to basically just leave a mark before we graduate. And it's hard to do so without a campus. Before we leave, we would want to at least um, kind of start that um, and give a new campus to our uh, future students. From rodent infestations to classrooms falling apart, the Jigo School had been operating in rather less than ideal conditions for decades. The aftermath of Typhoon Mawar had ultimately put the nail in the coffin for the school, leaving students and staff no choice but to share campuses with the John F. Kennedy High Islanders. It's been really hard, especially since I live all the way up in Jigo. So even though we have like a different schedule, our schedule is different, it's still harder for me because transportation reasons, I don't really know when the bus comes here. So it's either I show up too early to the bus or too late because I don't have like a definite schedule. I agree with everyone. It's it's hard not having our own campus, not having our own, like, our home, basically. Guam Department of Education Superintendent Kenneth Swanson says he's in full support of the Sharks rally. I encourage them to keep stay visible. And it is important. And sometimes we have to put a little pressure on the, on the, the public entities that are responsible for this. Can't underscore enough how important it is. I know it's important to the community. Um, and then the faster that this project gets underway, uh, then the better it'll be for everyone. He reassures Sanchez stakeholders GDOE is doing as much as they can to place them into a campus of their own. They also need to know that we're working to have them have, them have a good temporary campus to go to school and that it puts them in a better situation than what we have right now. The Sanchez High Rebuild Rally is set for this Friday at 4 in the afternoon at the JFK High intersection. The push for a new campus has also led to the Sanchez Sharks raising funds on their own, selling t-shirts with messages that drive home the point with these simple words. Julian Hernandez, KUAM News.